Why do we only ever go on school outings to a top secret research facility? Because, JJ, it's highly educational. You mean it's full of bland stuff? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, look, Paul, free pie. The best kind Whoa. of pie. Incoming! <laughs> Dennis, Mrs. Creature specifically told you to keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, but she didn't say anything about my feet. Oh, relax, glasses wearing boy. I encourage you small people to mess rigorously with whatever you find. Except that! <laughs> oh, careful, potato loving boy! This is my latest, greatest invention. I call it. The Pie! Um, Dad, I think someone might have beaten you to that one. Oh, no, schnuckle poops. A P-I-E, Pastry-Based Intelligent Espionage Unit. <laughs> I know, right? It's programmed to locate and document any illegal activity <laughs> in Hino Town. And you made it look like an everyday object to help it avoid detection. That would suddenly make sense. Yeah, sure, why not? Pie! It still needs work, of course. During its test run last night, it flew wildly off course towards, um, the mayor's house. <laughs> Daddy's house. Ooh. Walter, what has your dad been up to? Go on, Professor, show us! No can do, foggy backpack boy. <laughs> what? Some reason I can't seem to access its core memory chip. However incriminating those images are, they will remain secret. Phew. For now. Come, come. Let me show you some more stuff that I almost definitely shouldn't be showing you. All that fancy snooping tech. Who does your dad work for anyway? The good guys, obviously. Um, uh, hello? I'm just gonna let Paul have a go on the swings because, you know, potatoes love swings. Do you think Pie Face is acting a bit odd? <laughs> pie Face? Odd? Oh, good one, Dennis. <laughs> hello, Pie. <gasps> oh, right. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, it's not what it looks like. Looks like you nabbed a piece of advanced surveillance technology from a top secret laboratory. Oh, then it's exactly what it looks like. Oh. How did you get out without screw top seeing? Switched it for a regular pie, of course. Nice! Where did you get that idea? Um So let's see what secrets it's got stashed under its lid. No! That's why I rescued it. It doesn't deserve to be poked and prodded. Just look at it. A walking pie. The answer to all my dreams. Don't be shy, pie. You're free. No more labs or secret missions. You can live with me instead. <laughs> I'm going to call you Krusty. Uh, pie face, we're still here. Hmm? No! Please, Dennis, don't tell the others. Ruby will make me give Krusty back. Well, I guess it's pretty cool being friends with someone who's friends with a robot pie. Even if you can't tell any of your other friends in case they make your friend who's friends with a robot pie give his friend the robot pie back. Why did the pie go to the dentist? I don't know. Why did the pie go to the dentist? He needed a filling! Ah. What I'm trying to say is, you know, fine, whatever. Yes! We're going to be BBARSPFFs. Huh? Best boy and robot spy pie friends forever! <laughs> now, let's see if we can't locate that memory chip. Huh. Strange. 
I don't remember those circuits looking quite so tasty. Ah! Klaus! What did I say? No zero G kickflip so soon after dinner! Top plan, Walter. <laughs> now what? Now, Bertie, we destroy the pie before anyone sees the photographs on that memory chip. Um, photos of what? Uh, nothing of interest whatsoever. So, why are we destroying it? Never you mind. Bye-bye, pie-pie. Ow! Mmm, <laughs> apple pie. Get off! Oh, someone must have switched it! And who's the only person in Beano Town that carries a spare pie with him wherever he goes? Oh, huh. I don't know. Ooh, this is the life. Chilling and chatting about pies with a robot pie. You really are the best friend ever, Krusty. Ah, I spy with my little pie. Pie face caught pie handed. <laughs> what do you want? The pie, of course. Although, to be honest, I'm only interested in its insides. Well, you're not having any of him. Get him, Krusty! Oh no! Whatever will we do? <gasps> We've just been to pick up some kitchen supplies, haven't we, Bertie? <laughs> as well as being awfully snazzy, these oven gloves will protect me from your little friend's hot-headedness. You, you can't! He's my friend! Seeing as you're ever so fond of pies, we thought that you might like to become a little more like one. Let's roll. <laughs> so where's Pie Face? Oh, you know, probably hanging out with Krusty. Who's Krusty? Uh, um, Krusty? Never heard of the guy. Yeah, nice try. Spill. What's Pie Face up to? Ask him yourself. He's hopping this way. Dressed as a giant sausage roll. <laughs> Dennis, Walter's got Krusty. You've got to help me get him back. Who is Krusty? Has anyone seen my top secret pie? I repeat, has anyone seen my super top secret pie? Hmm. Pie. Come on, guys. We're going to get us some pie. Sorry, Ruby. I just wanted to be his friend. <laughs> Clubs, get off her. To put you out of service for good, Pie, with this! My new limited edition Apple Pie Tenderizer. One bash and your snooping days will be over. There's got to be something really juicy on Krusty's memory chip to make Walter want to nab him. Krusty! No! Quick! Ammo! Oh, uh, uh, here! <laughs> Let's go! Hands off! He's mine! We better get you back to the lab. Hey, Pie Face. Oh, Paul. Stealing a piece of sophisticated spyware was completely reckless. Not to mention I haven't had anyone to play checkers with. Oh, you win again. I still haven't been able to access his core memory. I'll just have to reboot him and vibe the chips. <laughs> Buying chips. No, wait. If you wipe the chip, you'll forget all about me. Krusty, please let the professor see what's on your memory chip. You don't want to forget the fun times we had together, do you? Potato Boy! How did you... 
Krusty's a sensitive pie deep down. You just need to ask him nicely. Oh, that's what you saw at the mayor's house? I need new eyes. Yeah, definitely way worse than I imagined. Oh, wait till we tell everyone. <sighs> Poor Walter, he's going to be so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? No, I'm Constable Clipper and I'm really scared. It's so dark down here and who are. Smells like an armpit. Eh, uh, Constable, we've got something that may help you. No, bright light. Can I add this? But your light, Ruby, the town's tree. Walter being right. Doesn't matter. Enjoy your Christmas present. What is this Christmas of which you speak? It's this loopy thing where you have to be all kind and givey and nice. I do not get it. Oh, this makes it way less scary down here. But it won't help me find my lost sidekick, Featherface. Only a trail of food would do that. This lost sidekick? Does it by any chance like pies? Oh, thank you very much. People. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Ah, run this by me again. You gave all that lovely swag away just because it's Christmas doodad and that makes you feel good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> We've still got presents and pretty soon we'll find Nasha, right Norbert? This is the place. Up we go. Are you in here? <laughs> I've got you, boy. Norbert, you're the best. Thank you so... Norbert! Wings, Walter! Blunderbirdy! He's totally ratting us out! Look what Norbert's brought you! Oh, why have you trapped us in here? Well, I give the Giants new pets for their collection and they give me all the cardboard I can gnaw on. It's just like your carey sherry Christmas thingy, right? Wrong! No way are we winding up as pets to Giant Walter and Bertie. Ugh! We're busting out of here and taking you lot with us! Run! It's okay. We'll get you all out of here, including you, shivery dudes. Whoa! Oh, no, you won't. Perhaps I should halt production. Huh? Except I can't. I've ingeniously auto locked it to run full pelt at midnight with no shutdown protocol. <gasps> if the factory blows up, it'll take the whole town with it. Please stop buying presents. They must be running out of stock. Panic buy! Hey! <laughs> nice work, Norbert. You must be very proud of yourself. I'm not feeling the blamest Christmas ever thing right now. How about you guys? <laughs> Poor Ting should be sleeping in their nice warm cocoons. 
They're not meant to be out in winter time. Uh, is it okay if I give your presents to my cage buddies? Sure, Come on, Dennis. Yeah. Didn't make like hoodies? We would have rocked in those. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Are you being nice to each other in there? No. I won't have it. Claudette, meet your new toys. Can't you go easy on them? After all, it is Christmas. Christmas? What's that? It's all about trees with lights on, stuffing your face with nummy food and getting tons of presents. Right? Wrong! We came up here to bring all those things back home, but we gave them to some new friends who needed them more. Because it's Christmas! Boring! Thank badness there's no such thing as Christmas here in Ginormo Town. <laughs> Gotten into you lot. Christmas! That's what! Since I met the teeny tiny sewer people, I've been spreading the word all over John Town. I've baked Christmas pies for everyone! Aha! <sighs> and I Christmas up the whole time. <laughs> so, Blunder Bertie, Winge Walter, are you feeling Christmassy too? No! Now get out of here and take all that twinkly toot with you! I know how we can help them get inside what Christmas is all about. We just need some big boxes. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for helping us, Norbert. This Christmas thing's catchier than a double dose of nits. We make a pretty good rat pack, right? Right. But we better get going now. Have to be home for Christmas. <laughs> I bet everyone down in Beano Town's really missing us, too. Uh, I am so glad Dennis is way up there. One of my money making schemes is finally working out, all because he's not here to foil it. Now, let's make sure it stays that way. <laughs> Someone's messing with the Beano store. I bet that someone's a Sun Walter. Come on, we've got to get down there. <sighs> oh, Bertie, what a glorious day. We are making so much money, I shan't know what to do with it all. Slight problem. Rubicorp's about to blow up and destroy the whole town, and we can't shut him down. What? How could my scheme possibly be going so wrong? You don't suppose it's because Dennis isn't here to foil it? Uh, you're right, Bertie. I need Dennis! Henchbot, desist and return to the factory! The shopping stopped! I see Beano Town! Merry Christmas, Cinema! Merry Christmas, School! Merry Christmas, Factory that looks like it's about to explode! What? Oh. Oh, Dennis, I'm so glad you're back. I, I mean, ugh, get off me. What, what's going on? The factory's going into meltdown and we can't stop it. If it blows up, all of Beano Town is doomed. How could this Christmas possibly get any worse? Oh, I bring bad tidings. Those big bad boys unbox themselves and they're coming to give your teeny town a super-sized stomping. We've got to cut down the beano stalk. But I sent my henchbot away. Not a problem. Ooh. How come you came down to warn us? Now you've got me started, I can't stop doing nice stuff. Watch this. I can see how this will stop the giant, but how does it help shut down Father's factory? You'll see. Hang out like this more often. You destroyed Father's factory. Yeah, just in time to stop it destroying the whole town. But, 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 ah! You're welcome, Walter. 
Happy Christmas! So the must-have mystery gifts were just empty cardboard boxes? And you, old board Zen, doesn't get more mystifying than that. <laughs> What's to become of all of this unwanted cardboard? It's off to give someone a very happy Christmas. Nummy nun! Merry Christmas, cavemate! <laughs> Stuff up in Ginormo Town! You reckon? I'd say the most important stuff's right here. Sharing good times with your friends and family and rocking out Crimbo style. <laughs> ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> You horrible lot! When Mayor Brown says it'll be a crime to miss his unfeasibly large gold exhibit, well, he means it. Count yourselves lucky my father's allowing it to be shown at all. <laughs> shown off, more like. We merely suggest everyone get to look at the sort of riches you could be enjoying if you were as splendidly successful as we are. <laughs> merely suggest? Attendance is compulsory. The mayor even sent Mrs Creature to get her eyes tested so she can admire it properly. Professor Screwtop, I'm here for my 20-year eye test. As if I need it. Oh, uh, Mrs Creature, this is the butcher's. Nonsense! I'll have these frames. I'll take you to Professor Screwtop's lab. Oh, and can I interest you in my new line of frozen sausages? Ideal for a hot day. Bam! Hey, Grant. How's it going? Blamtastic, thanks, love. Rasha and I just about recovered from yesterday's Gammon Wealth Games. Oh, she did so well at the chocolate truffle snuffle. Not so great at the pig rodeo, though. Epic sugar rush from all those chocks. What? 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 Wow! If it wasn't for that, we'd have totally come first. Silver? Hardly as impressive as an unfeasibly large collection of... <gasps> God! Joy! Me, it's all right. Just look at the chart and tell me what you can see. It's an elephant tap dancing while balancing jelly on his head. Excellent! I got it right. No, but I need someone just like you to test my latest invention, the tech specs. Now, no briefing of the gold. Oh, 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 the crumbs in your moustache. Oh. 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 Lovely. Oh, wonderful. The class, they need me. My more rambunctious pupils would put it. Booyah! Mrs. Creature, respect! Uh, didn't there used to be some gold in this gold exhibit? Uh, no panic! I'm an expert in forensic investigations now. Wait to put my magnifying glass. Let me. Mud, a black hair. I spy with my uber boosted eyes evidence. <gasps> A perfect match! Dennis! Arrest him at once! Oh, I've been framed! You've got to help me prove I didn't do it! Uh. Ah! Oh. Let's get out of here! 
quick! <laughs> Amazing. We lost them. Now to figure out who took the gold so we can prove you're innocent. But who could have planted those clues? Even Paul's baffled. Shh! They're here! Night vision mode! <gasps> Fugitive detection mode! They're close. I've got to hack into the mainframe of those specs. Gotcha! Nice! You're only engaged X-ray mode! <laughs> Good job she didn't know it was X-ray mode. Come on! <gasps> Where's Dennis hiding? He's definitely not hiding in there while the butcher's out delivering frozen bangs. No way! Uh, not at all! Well, I'm convinced! Better look elsewhere, Mrs. Creature. Activating lie detector mode. Is Dennis in the butchers? Yes. No. Wait. No. Hang on. I'm definitely not meant to confuse you with a double bluff. Watch him, Sergeant. I'm going in. <gasps> I see the rest of you, but no sign of Dennis. What just happened? The specs must be scanning for heat signatures. Those frozen sausages made you invisible to them. Any sign of the perpetrator, y'all? Not a sausage. Safe. Now your pants are full of frozen sausages too. You're even more invisible. B -b Better catch the real thief soon before I catch cold. See you later, Sergeant Slipper. Oh, bye, Parface, Ruby, JJ, Nasha, like a Dennis. Wait, what? Dennis? Please! I'm frozen enough, thanks. Run! What did the policeman say to his belly button? I don't know. What did the policeman say to his belly button? You are under a vest! <laughs> What's that? Rasha, what's got into it? Whoa, I'm getting massive carb readings. Another sugar rush. If Rasha crashes into Creature, it'll be Pig Rodeo Mayhem times a hundred. Pig Rodeo? <laughs> Girl, it looks like you've burnt off wherever you ate. <gasps> you saved me, Dennis, even after I tried to hunt you down. Yep, I guess you want to take these back. Indeed, I will. Back to Screwtop. They've been nothing but trouble. Besides, there's nothing wrong with my trusty old glasses. After that brave rescue, I'm sure the sergeant will go easy on you if you'll just explain ah. why you took Walter's uh. gold. Hmm? What? 
I didn't take it and I think I just figured out who did. Follow me. Brescia, there you are. Wow. Oh, oh. Carol did. All the clues that pointed to me came from Rasha. She must have picked up the mud and the strands of my hair at the Gammon Wealth Games. Pig or not, Rasha's a gold thief. The... Except she's not a gold thief. Right, case closed. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Don't you all have cramped down market homes to go to? Sushi, Walter. Go on, carry on, Dennis. It was back at the Brown Mansion. I insist you stop this flashback. In all the confusion, Rasha snuffled away to the gold and took it. And why? Because the gold we were all meant to be so wowed by isn't gold. It's chocolate covered in foil. My number one truffle snuffler. That explains the sugar rush. Displaying an unfeasibly large fake gold exhibit, eh? Oh, that's against the law, probably. <laughs> hey, Walter! Check out Dennis's unfeasibly large reward for fraud busting and teacher saving. Pure solid 24 carat chocolate. Oh. <laughs> 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 